Today, we are going to be writing the formula for the ionic compound zinc sulfide. So let's find out where these elements are located on the periodic table, and then we'll take it from there. So the first thing I see is I see that I have zinc. I'm going to scan the periodic table to find out where that element is, and that element is in this little corner right here, all right? Zinc is a Zn, all right? So it's part of this little group, right? It's a transition metal, so I'm going to put that over here. So I start off with zinc, Zn. But now, here's the thing, guys, right? If your element is in this box, and if it's classified as a transition metal, they have multiple different oxidation states or different charges. What charge am I going to use for zinc? Ah, zinc is a special one. I would star this element out. Even though it's part of the transition metals, zinc only has one charge. So technically, you should memorize that charge, okay, guys? Zinc is always going to be a plus two. It's going to always want to lose two electrons. All right, now we're moving on. Sulfide. I see that I have an IDE ending, so chances are this is a nonmetal on the periodic table. So I'm going to look for something that starts with sulf, right? So I'm scanning the periodic table, and I see that I have a sulfur, right? Sulfur would turn to sulfide when it gets named, and sulfur is right here on the periodic table. It's labeled as an S. And sulfur, being in this group, loves to be a negative 2 charge, right? So I'm going to write that down. I have S, negative 2. Now I have the two charges. So what we're going to do is we're going to crisscross these two just to tell me how many of each compound or each element I need. So this plus 2 crisscrosses down. This, <laughs> sorry guys. This plus 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two sulfurs, and this negative 2 crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two zincs. But now here's the catch, guys. Ionic compounds always need to be in the most simplified form. If you have the same number that's greater than 2 for both elements, it needs to be simplified, aka it needs to be divided by a number so that it could be a simpler number, a smaller number. In this case, I could divide each one by 2 to get... 1, right? 2 divided by 2 is 1. This is the number that I'm going to be using for each element. So when I write my compound, I'm going to say that I have zinc, but now I only have one of them. So I don't have to write the 1. Sulfur comes next. I only have one of them, so I also don't have to write the 1. And now we are good. So zinc sulfide is just ZnS. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to. If not, that's okay. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.